biggest concern about this? So for me, even the verbal ones on social media should not be there. We don't need to have any form of abuse or accusation, false accusations, anything. For me, it should not exist. Physical or verbal, social media or otherwise, we should have election that is based on issues, campaign that is based on issues, discussing our problems. Nigeria have huge enormous problems that are besetting it that we should occupy our campaigns with. You can have a situation where you're the poverty capital of the world one of the most insecure places on the surface of the earth. It, your primary health care has collapsed. You're now 168 out of 170 something or 178 on who medical um, WHO health um, numbering. So there's so much we can talk about. There's so much that would be to be a problem. Our human capital is very low, and everything your youths are every day looking for a way to leave the country because they have because of sense of hopelessness and everything. So these are things that should worry us. Not the issue of any form of verbal attack or physical attack, anything. I urge those who are my supporters, please. Do not engage in that. And I always plead with other contestants to please plead with their supporters and those who are working for them to this from that. We have a huge problem. Let's deal with it. All I want is to get Nigeria to start working again for everybody. I'll take you up on this your Lagos trip, and also um, you you went visiting the area on a can for of Yoruba land, uh, Ghani Adams, uh, where you told him about your plan of uniting Nigeria, and you made promise of restructuring. Some of your allies and some of your friends who are campaigning for you, like uh, the Middle Belt Forum, uh, Afeni Ferry, the Pandev, these are some of the proponents of restructuring Nigeria. The manner of uh, their own approach to the issue of restructuring, because by definition, restructuring now means different things to different people. Um, if you look at the radical approach uh, the likes of Chiva Yadibanjo has preached about the issue of restructuring when he said, not only when Nigeria is being properly restructured before we can get the kind of the desired development, what do you mean, what is the Peter Obi's concept of restructuring? And if you really mean it, how soon, how fast are you hoping to get down to the ground and uh, get this issue of restructuring working? Should he be elected president? So Nigeria is already Federal Republic of Nigeria. So you first need to have true federalism as it's been practiced in other nations of the world. When we talk about the issue of restructuring, we're talking about trying to, this is not going to be something that I'm going to do by presidential fiat or this. It is something that we all need to sit down and talk and go through the process of rule of law in doing that. But I can assure you, we need to structure, we all have factor endowment that will make the country work. Some of those who are even against structuring, or even have fear of structuring, will benefit more. For example, I've always said it consistently, the biggest physical assets of Nigeria is all cultivated land in the north. We can make more money 
far more money than we earn from oil or gas from agriculture. If we do the right things, we have, we say we we'll live on 900 and 3,000 square kilometers of land, which the vast land, arable land, are in the north. And we're 200 million people. Tiny country like Netherlands, they have just live on, without water, live on 33,000 square kilometers of land, which if we were to donate land to them, uh, minority from Nigeria, we remove 33,000 from our 923, so we will still have 890,000 left. If we were to give them even human beings, there are 74, 17.4 million in population, and we are about 220, actually. So we give them, we have still have 200 million people left. The agricultural export in 2021 is 103 billion euros, about 120 billion dollars. That is four times our entire export when you divide 18.9 trillion by 650 naira because your parallel market today is about 750. So you find that it's three times your entire export. And you have that vast land that is uncultivated. So for me, that vast land can give us far more than we're earning from oil today and cultivating it is something that I'm focused on. I want to pull people out of poverty, especially in the North, by ensuring that we put in the resources that will ensure that that vast land is cultivated. First, that will feed ourselves, which will drive down our inflation, because the worst contributed to inflation today is food inflation. Two will lead to manufacturing and lead to export, which will in turn, like I said before, increase our reserve and drive down our rate of exchange. These are things restructuring will come. Then those from Niger Delta today will be able to use the resources that we're going to generate from further production of oil and gas area to be able to develop, clean up the environment, bring them back to agricultural and other uh, food productive areas like fishing and everything. That's what a lot we can do. If we do the right things. So I keep yeah, saying that. Yeah. If, if I may quickly jump in and ask you, Mr. Obi, uh, there is the.